With the cells, uh, she could create uh, her own spaces that were independent of random museum spaces uh, that her works could be placed in. So with the cells, she could really um, compose a three-dimensional uh, spatial architectural piece um, where, where she could preserve a certain story and mood and temper, uh, regardless of what context the works would be placed in. We have perfume bottles for the sensation of smell. We have uh, an ear uh, for hearing. Uh, so all the, the different senses and their relation to memory. Um, also their relation to uh, different kinds of pain, which is also the subject uh, in these first cells. And then they're all pretty small. So they're also about uh, really small uh, claustrophobic spaces. And that's the kind of space she preferred. <laughs> I think she liked creating her own architecture to house these objects, to set the scale, to make room size installations, sort of claustrophobic spaces that the viewer could enter. In certain cases, the viewer could look from the outside. It sets up different kinds of relationship to the body in, in a way. She doesn't work with a concept. She always says, I start with an emotion first. And I think it's leaving this studio that she had worked in for you know, almost 25 years to, to leave a place that she created a whole body of what was a big chapter in her, you know, her life, in a way, was this space. And it's a staircase that she actually made for the studio. So it has this idea of holding on to things, holding on to the past. I've looked her up in, uh, in various um, encyclopedias uh, that are not brand new. And it's really interesting because if she's mentioned, uh, usually it's, a, you know, 10 lines, very short. 
And uh, if, if we were to, re to write uh, new encyclopedias today, and that's being done right now, uh, she would most certainly uh, take up some more space. Thank you for that.